it's always recommended to start with the marking drill. Increase the number of the drill's diameter in sequence to widen the osteotomy site. Push the drill stopper all the way in to achieve the correct osteotomy depth. Using the drill stoppers will make the osteotomy preparation safe and easy, especially with limited bone volume. Bone quality and planned implant diameter must be taken into consideration when choosing the final drill size. Take out the implant gently from the vial and insert it into the osteotomy. Use the torque ratchet to bring the implant to the desired level. Exceeding 35 Newton centimeters is an indication of hard bone tissue. When positioning the expansion tool, you must make sure that A. The outer expansion tool unit is in contact with the implant without obstruction from soft tissue and B. The short handle is in a position that will be comfortable to hold throughout the procedure. Rotate the square head gently with your fingers until the expansion tool is engaged with the implant's internal thread. Change the torque ratchet wheel head before using it to expand the apical portion of the implant. Verify that it is set on 35 Newton centimeters. With your finger, keep the short handle stationary to prevent any rotational movement by the implant during ratchet torque operation. The expansion process is completed when the two yellow rings are in contact. It is recommended to verify this by operating the torque ratchet handle until it becomes bent. Now it's time to remove the expansion tool. Holding the short handle with your finger, disconnect the expansion tool from the implant using the other side of the torque ratchet.